day, chances are you know and adore these little guys. All Maryland's uh, love to eat big, juicy, fat blue crabs. Since 2015, scientists have been studying blue crabs. What diseases impact them, how warmer water temperatures affect them, which females have best reproductive ability, and etc. In preparation for the future as climate change is seen as inevitable. Some of the traits make them stronger like, uh, you know, like animals to disease resistance or growing really fast. A female crab was taken from our waters in the fall of 2018. One of her babies became the chosen one, or who the genetic code was cracked from. It was a team effort that took years to complete. Billions of genetic bases were sequenced together just so in order to create the perfect DNA of the Maryland blue crab. The mother came from Maryland, the part of Chesapeake Bay. And then funding comes from Maryland the citizens, it's all Marylanders work together. So all this science basically means one thing. The blue crab will never go extinct because scientists have a complete picture of what makes up the blue crab genome. They could recreate them with their recently recorded genetic code if needed. Your genome is written in di like a digitized, right? So, so you can keep it all those, bring it back. I hope that that never happens, what you just said, but yes, uh, like in, in the long term, we can bring it back. And the code they have would make the strongest crabs in the water, so have no fear. Maryland's staple icon in food isn't going anywhere.